Hello and welcome to our 19th tutorial in our Java programming series. In this video I'm going to show you how we can draw images and certain shapes like a rectangle or a circle on top of your panels. It is not that hard to do, actually it's pretty easy. And I've gone ahead and done some basic stuff already. So I'm going to explain what I have done so far. So basically I set up a J-frame which we're going to use which basically is just a window like you should know now and I've created a new class called a draw panel which extends a J-panel so we're going to customize our panel a bit and basically we just add that panel on top of our frame and that's all we have done so far so our next step is to add an image on top of our panel which, wa which we want to display at a certain position. First of all we're going to create... Alright, so we're going to start by creating a class called image. Actually we don't need to define it as a public... Actually we don't need to define it at the start of the class. We can just do it inside of the constructor. So image icon, our image. Basically an image icon is something that can display an image. And if we attach it to for example a J label it will display the image. So let's just call the image icon our image. And then we're setting our image equals to new image icon. Uh, let's see. Image IO dot read and then a new and a new file and inside of these brackets we're going to tap out the path to our image so for example I'm going to make a path to my theater image so I'm going to copy this part of the path file and paste it inside of here surround it with quotation marks and then you need to change all of these lines into these ones So go ahead and do that, and then I need to add the name of the file too, so theater.png, like that. Then we just need to import the file. And now we actually have to surround this with that try and catch statement. So if we can't find the file, it will print out the error, but it won't crash. Alright, so the next step is to create a J-label. Let's call it J-label, like this only jlabel image equals to new jlabel and then we're going to inside of constructor we're going to take the, pair, the argument our image which is an image icon alright uh, let's see initialize variable alright we're going to set it to no there we go alright so what we need to do now is we need to define a size of our jlabel Actually, the first thing we should do is set the layout to null. Basically, this will allow us to position our containers and components wherever we want inside of our panel. So now we need to define the size and the position of our jlabel. So let's call jlabel.image.setBounds. And here we take four arguments. We're going to put the position x first, 128, and then the y position, 256. And then the next two arguments are the width and the height of the jlabel, and we're going to make it just as big as the actual images. So we're going to call our our image, which is our image icon, dot get icon width, and our image dot get icon height. Alright? And now basically all we need to do is add it to our panel, like this. And keep in mind, because I extended the J panel, I can just use all of the commands, all of the methods that are available in a panel, without actually typing a reference. As you can see over here, we can just type out set layout. So let's go ahead and run it. And yeah, as, as you can see it works perfectly. Now we can actually go ahead and change the position, easy, position easily. Let's type jlabel image.set location. 
and set it to for example 0, 0. Yeah, as you can see it's positioned right over there. Basically that is how we can display an image inside of a panel. And now I'm going to show you how we can do some drawing. For example, how we can draw a circle, a rectangle or a triangle or something like that. What we need to do is we need to override a method called public void paint component I believe it's called. Uh, lowercase p and then it takes an argument called graphics and we're going to call it g. There we go. So basically this is a method that is already inside a JPanel so we are going to call the super dot paint component g. So basically we make sure that it does everything it's supposed to do plus whatever we want it to do. So right, now we can easily draw an image Sorry, now we can easily draw uh, draw a shape. For example, we call G dot draw. So draw rect a rectangle, and let's draw it at 128, 128. Let's give it the width 128 and height 196. And we're going to do this. And as you can see, it's drawn exactly where we want it to be. And we can actually go ahead and change the color. I type in g.setColor to color dot let's go with cyan. Go ahead and see if it works. Yep, yeah, as you can see it changes color. Now keep in mind every time you want to change a color you need to to actually call the set color method. Let's try some other shapes. For example, draw a line Polygon. Mm. Yeah, let's let's draw. Let's just draw a line. Pretty basic. So let's draw it for example zero zero. One twenty eight. One twenty eight. And we're going to see if it works. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it goes from there to there. Yeah, that's right. It's going to change the color to black. There is actually something else we can do in order to draw other shapes. We can create an object called a graphics 2D. And let's just name it to G2D. Alright, graphics 2D equals to graphics 2D. Basically, this is called a typecast, and basically, that means that you convert one object to another so you can access different methods and such I have not covered this yet so I'm going to go ahead and cover that in a later video basically right now you don't have to understand but I will explain it in a future video how typecasting works so basically if you call it G2D we, you can see that we have some new methods clear rect draw oval for example which will allow us to draw a circle Actually, let's set it to... Yeah, that should work. Um, let's, just, let's just do this. There we go, and we're going to draw it. And as you can see, it's a perfect circle. And of course, it doesn't have to be a circle, because we can just change the width or the height to make it an oval. So yeah, basically, G2D, Graphics 2D will give you more options when you want to draw a shape see what more options we have. Draw round rect, I think we had that in an uh, ordinary one. Oh yeah, you can see here we have uh, methods called fill rect, fill polygon and fill oval and basically this will fill in and rectangle. So for example if we take away this one, let's just copy the the arguments Whoops. and do this and we put them inside of our fill rect. It is going to fill the entire space with the color that we have selected. And let's change it to cyan. So yeah. If you want more advanced methods, you have to go with graphics 2D and not the ordinary graphics uh, G graphics.
So yeah, that was all for this video. If you like my videos, please subscribe to the channel and give the videos a thumbs up. And give the videos a thumbs up and maybe share the videos. It would really help a lot. Once again, thank you for watching. Hopefully, I will see you in the next video. Have a good day. Bye bye.